Hello, welcome to week three. Um, so we've finished the portal for now at least and it's time to move on to the second effect in that shot. So if I just jump back to the original preview. So we've got something for that and now we're moving on to the magical shield. So a few thoughts going into this is obviously I want it to feel magical but also slightly sci-fi. So we'll try and introduce some geometric patterns in there as well. And on top of that, I've just been looking through some reference, so I'll go through what I've found and then discuss some other things we'll, we'll want to add. So I'm just looking at Magic Shield here on ArtStation. Couple of cool things. Not not exactly. I mean, this is like that kind of thing is just too simple. Like it can work really well having having a really simple effect like that. But obviously, to make this this class a little bit more interesting, we're going to try and add a bunch of detail. So let's try force field. So like in some cases, you can definitely get a great result. There's not much on here uh, by going very simple. And it's often actually better, but we're just going to add as much detail as possible. And then obviously if you work on your own or you do it as a job, um, just keep in mind that simpler is sometimes better. That's very cool. I mean, Pinterest is really the way to go. So many cool concept art. That's really nice as well. So this is an example of not even having an effect to represent the the force field itself, but just relying on all the effects around the field, which is really awesome. And I have an example of that um, from X-Men over here. So I'll, I'll show you that after this. But basically I've started saving a couple of these into a folder. And every now and again, I'll just come back to Pinterest and, and search for Magic Shield and see if there's anything else I can get inspiration from. That one's quite nice. So what I want pretty much is some something very magical. So we'll go for advected particles again. Um, on the inside of the shield. And then an extra element that introduces the geometric patterns onto maybe the surface or onto the inside as well, something like this. So we need to make sure we try and make it feel sci-fi. If you guys want to go 100% fantasy, then obviously you try and introduce organic shapes, organic patterns, or just leave it as the internal advected points because that's gonna feel the most fantasy. And then as an example, over here, I'll be using this as reference as well. This is the final scene from X-Men Apocalypse. And this villain has a magic shield. And like the other reference we saw, it doesn't actually, it's invisible, but you see the, the weapons and the ground and the bullet impacts and everything interacting with it. So I think that looks really cool. You're just seeing the fire from the impacts and all the smoke. So I'll probably be looking at this, trying to recreate some of that kind of effect, and then also just going over the top with the internal details. So that's where I'm at. I'll try and save some of these to a folder get some more inspiration. And um, if you're following along with me, it, it would be really beneficial for you if you picked out some, some images you liked and tried to stick to that reference instead of recreating the same looking effect I'm doing. So if you go through 
So that's why I'm not showing you exactly the ones I'm collecting into a folder, but um, just more of an inspiration type of thing. And if you pick something like this, um, and I go down a particular route, you should try and uh, incorporate these hexagons into yours instead of doing whatever I end up doing, which might be hexagon. So um, with that, we'll jump back into the scene we used to make the portal and we'll just keep adding uh, more geo nodes and start working on the magic shield. So I'll see you in the next video.